From the WOBX Weather Center, I'm Sam Walker. Hurricane season is here, and whether you're a full-time resident, a seasonal resident who spends part of their year with us, or a visitor who only comes for a week at a time, it's important to know exactly how to be prepared in case a tropical cyclone or other severe weather decides to make a move across the greater Outer Banks. We've assembled a group of experts at weather forecasting, emergency management, and the visitor economy to give you the best advice on how to get ready and stay ready before tropical weather threatens the greater Outer Banks, what to do and what to expect when it's coming, and what happens during and after the storm. Today, we're going to discuss how you should prepare for not just hurricane season, but the other weather threats the Outer Banks can face any time of year. The first thing is, is knowing your risk, whether you are a full-time resident and property owner or whether you're somebody who's just coming to visit for a week. You know, you need to know that in the Outer Banks, you could be asked to evacuate. Uh, ahead of a storm because of the risk from storm surge, which is what generally drives those evacuation decisions. It's the water, the wind, the tornadoes, everything that comes with it, even the ocean conditions. So we, we reach out, try to make sure people are aware of those, those things, the, the impacts that a hurricane can bring. We want to make sure they're ready for those impacts. Uh, they want, we want to make sure they know where uh, the threats and hazards are in their community. Uh, we, we live in a community that's uh, going to be impacted by storm surge, not just from a tropical event, but from a lot of other events. And people need to know what that threat is and how much water they can anticipate to get into their communities. They need to have an emergency plan. So know what you're going to do with your family, with your friends, where you're staying, the, the community that you're staying in, be aware of where you are, but also have a plan with your family or who you're staying with. If for some reason you have to leave, your home, leave where you're staying, um, that you have a plan on how you're going to do that, uh, that you have um, equipment, resources, supplies that you know you would need. They need to have their preparedness kits ready. They need to have that five to seven days or maybe even more if they're st planning on stand staying and not leaving. Those, uh, those emergency kits with the food, the water, the, the medicines, the supplies for the pets, the supplies for the grandparents, everything that you might need to be on your own uh, for, for five to seven days, maybe even longer. As we think about preparation, it's not just for hurricanes that we prepare for. Here on the Outer Banks, it is notoriously windy. That's why the Wright brothers visited after all. As we think about preparation, we prepare for things like nor'easters. We prepare for tropical depressions, even a tropical storm, potentially with no evacuation. Here's the expert move. That does not mean we have no responsibility to prepare. So number one, from a guest perspective, situational awareness. Understand the potential for severe weather. Most importantly, how that may impact your activities and your property. Stay aware and stay communicative to your hospitality provider, but also always government and local media sources that can guide you through that. When in doubt, pick up the phone and touch base with your hospitality provider. From a homeowner perspective, the same guidance holds true. Just because it's not a hurricane does not mean there is no risk. It means we always have a responsibility to prepare for unpredictable weather. That means insurance. Wind-driven rain doesn't just happen during hurricanes. It can happen anytime. Double check your insurance. Make sure your property manager is able to understand things like deck furniture, trash bins, roof shingles. Photographs are easier and easier to obtain these days. And then from a property management perspective, the responsibilities for customer service, due diligence, and honesty always ring true. Look for a cadence of communication. Look for a upbeat in how they may be configuring staff and communicating with you. Those kinds of telltale activities that should be going on in the background suggest to property managers, homeowners, and the traveling public, preparation continues to be the expert move in the face of unpredictable weather. Prepping for a hurricane or any other type of weather threat isn't just about having what you need to stay. It also means having somewhere to go. From an operational priority standpoint, getting folks out of harm's way, um, the public safety um, piece of it is, is paramount. Um, second to that is making sure that folks have safe and secure housing, that they have food, that they have access to the things that they need, that they are in a safe and secure environment until the, the threat of the, of the event moves through. Shelters are a place where it's going to be safe. There's not much amenities there. 
we encourage everybody to have a place to go where they're going to feel like they're at home. If you have visitors and friends that come to you on the Outer Banks to spend time with you during the summer, think about them when the mandatory evacuation is ordered and go visit with them and stay with them. It's probably going to be a safe place. It's going to be uh, somewhere where they came from and uh, it's by their home. Hopefully they'll welcome you, that you into their home and take that kit with you in case you need it. Uh, we, we encourage everybody to do that. Uh, and when that mandatory evacuation is ordered, order, we encourage everybody to be ready for it. But that doesn't mean just hitting inland. As the threats from a landfalling hurricane, tropical storm, or other severe weather events can extend all the way across our state and adjoining states. You don't want to evacuate to another flood prone area, especially if there's you know, significant flooding potential you know, along mainstream rivers or in flash flooding type situations. And again, those hazards can extend days after you know, the storm moves by, depending on sort of how the, the scenario sets up. We have a, a Know Your Zone campaign. And so um, we have a website folks can go to. If you're a resident or you're a visitor, you can plug in the address of where you're staying, where you live, um, find out what your evacuation zone is for that community to be able to respond to what local officials um, direct you to do. One of the keys to being prepared for hurricane season on the Outer Banks whether you live here full-time, part-time, or spend a short time, is staying informed. Knowing the trusted sources of information, staying connected to your local media, your local emergency management officials, they're gonna tell you what you need to do to be safe as a storm approaches. And find those trusted sources of information now, before there's a storm, so you know, you know where to go to get that, that credible information, both from an emergency management perspective, but also from a weather perspective. You can go to the Hurricane Center webpage at hurricanes.gov, we're sort of following the storm through this, from this sort of big picture perspective. And then we're coordinating with the local National Weather Service offices uh, that serve the Outer Banks. That would be the office in Moorhead City, Newport, and then the office in, up in Wakefield, Virginia that serves Currituck County. And you know they're taking our forecast information and sort of downscaling it to that local community level uh, uh, for, for local impacts and, and how that's gonna translate to the conditions you'll see on the ground there. We on the Outer Banks look at things like the National Hurricane Center and other local media sources to guide us in our thinking around that. And once we become aware of a hurricane, it very much turns into proper preparation and communication on the ground, whether that's local hospitality providers, whether that's within your own family group, whether that is with insurance companies that may offer things like travel insurance. Most importantly, and I can't overemphasize this, stay in touch with government media sources and local media sources and heed their warnings. 99.9% .9 of the time, it feels like when we bump into problems around safety of public, they are the result of not heeding judicious government and local media warnings. That's the same thing local residents have done for many years, and that's the key to success as we think about safety. The Weather Service are the pros. They, 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 can know what, they know what it's going to bring. They know what the impact's going to be, whether it's wind, rain, water, or wind, rain, uh, surge, uh, rip currents in the ocean. All of those things can happen uh, any time of the year. They're sharing that information, and, and we're messaging that. We, we put it up on our website. Uh, we, we share it via social media. But we're not the weather professionals like they are. We, we know what they're telling us, and we're trying to make sure people realize what those impacts could be. And it doesn't matter if it's a, if between June 1st and the end of the hurricane season or any other time. Weather impacts, uh, we're always watching them, and people always need to be ready for them. It doesn't matter if it's just uh, during hurricane season. Check out the rest of our hurricane series, and we hope you'll turn to us at WOBX.com for all the latest information when a storm threatens. From the WOBX Weather Center, I'm Sam Walker.